school management system part 15 okay let's go on back to our dashboard so we are here okay so what can we do now we are going to add the pages okay so first let's go to let me open it in a new tab okay so that because okay so i will click here uh where's the pages let's see let me go up so we have pages here so i will just click new tab open new tab so at the new tab here i'm now going to add the pages okay so the first page that we need to create is home page which is very important okay home page so i will click publish then after that i will come back here and click again or you can even click here and this time about about i can just add about us and I publish it you click the uh, wordpress icon here to take you back then you click on the add new again okay so this time you have something like contacts contact us and our contact is okay and then i will publish it let's go down i'll post the video and complete the rest of the pages please subscribe to this channel like comment you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course okay so far so good i've added home about contacts okay so it left with the rest of the page we have something like let me click here uh, that is admission that's where we talk about admission process okay yes because let me show you this website hannah school complex okay i just have completed this project i'm yet to complete it it's not done everything is not uh, yes i'm still working on that making changes now look at this website let me show you let's go down here and i know you love this site it's so amazing everything is looking perfect it's very beautiful okay it's so nice i love it okay look at it everything looks better okay and then about session as you can see we have admission whereby you can talk about the admission process in the school uh, trying to convince parents to so and so forth you see then we have gary okay picture one then video one okay this is the picture one you see all the students you can just click on that to view it and click here to change it okay which is very nice okay we even have a video gary where you can watch videos of students okay so that's it this is a website that i'm working on i'm not here to talk about that so let me close it okay good so um we have to add admission so we have we have to done that we have to do that and uh, it has been added now let's click here let's go back and now what else admission student life that's where we will talk about student life at the compound or campus okay so let let me continue so i'll say student life there's other unique pages that we are going to add you just take your time maybe you will add news or blog okay that's something like blog so i will click here and that's that will be blog because maybe they they, they will be updating the platform okay uh, about the up upcoming event and so and so forth so let me add blog okay or media news and media okay news and media sorry so, come on news and media now this one is not good so let me make it and media so i will then click here to publish it so we have added that too so what else now let me see we have student life admission yeah so contact okay good so we are now going to add the other pages okay let's come back here and go to settings any of the settings is okay so let's go here so let's go to settings we are going to copy the code and use them okay so over here we have uh, well it's okay okay the short code click that 
so what do we see here display a fee submission form on a page if you want to display a fee submission form it's very important to me inquiries where if you pay parents will be asked uh, will be making an inquiries about admission here and there we can also do that here so i will click here then i will go here and add new page then i will enter okay so okay so i've added that after that i can just paste the link that i copied from here this link okay so it has been added i can publish it okay if you are to view it you will see something different okay so this is an inquiries form oh i don't know why it's not working okay so it's now working now okay so this is it i think it's nice okay what is good class you can select the class session a then the, your child name phone number email and then reference okay then you can talk about you can just write your message about why you want to uh, okay so that let us continue so the next one will be what school management okay we are done with that registration id so this is a registration where this one is not important okay because this whereby you allow another school to create an account okay which uh this is not, this is not our purpose of making this video so let's put that one aside to display staff registration form okay yes you want to display staff registration form so that they will be able to create their own pages uh, create their own accounts okay because if uh this feature is not added it means that we have to add them one after the other okay oh come on let me click here and click add new so we have to create a registration page so that teachers can also create an account on the platform or else we would rather add them one after the other we don't want to do that so staff okay so staff registration i'll paste the link here and publish it let's view that and see and i'll show you something so this is a registration form for staff okay for teachers okay so let me close that let me go down again okay so what else so staff registration form is done to display uh notice board on the page we we don't want to do that right now to display exams timetable no we don't want to do that to display exams to display results on the page to display certificate form not lesson form on the page no okay so let's see eleven it um student dashboard to display uh submission form on the page please subscribe to this channel like comments you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course to display registration form on a page or personal staff notice oh i think fee submission form no 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 okay so if it's left with uh that is student dashboard okay okay so let's see where we are let's come back here i think we will see that here let's come to or let's go to here and locate settings i want us to locate settings first because i don't know why okay so let's come back here at the top here so we need to add student uh, uh login or dashboard uh what do you call it uh, code to display fee submission no we not fees login okay so to, to display login form or student dashboard let's use this so i will then click here so as you can see before you get access to that come to the main one and settings so we have students students we can just give any name but student login or student dashboard is okay so student login okay and publish that okay so we have added these two uh, important pages 
that is student login forms and also um teachers registration form later you look at the inquiry form later you look at the rest of them okay so good so far so good uh let's see the number of page that we have here we have a lot here okay let's create the menu let's proceed and create the menu so i will click here and click menus so under menus here we are now going to create menu so i will click here and select main menu and then after that i will check this header one and mobile and click create okay so so far so good let's come back here good select all of them from here select all and click add menu okay so for teachers registration uh, it will be on public we will hide them because if you leave it on public people will be creating an account and which is something that we don't want to do okay so let's put that one somewhere for now okay so home about uh, then you we'll talk about okay let's delete this home it's not a good one so this is the correct one the one i uh, i just created so home about admission contact is too close let's put it here or oh, last school life it's supposed to be here media let's put it here so yeah media will be here student inquiries admission okay so these are the pages let's click save so let's come back here and refresh the page then you see the menus okay which is quite not bad at all but it's not looking good okay so we work towards that okay good so as you can see we have done so many things right now uh, so far what we are going to do is about how to add the logo okay so we are going to add the logo and then adjust the menu okay that's the most important thing here so what i will do is i will click here customize okay so we are here i will click here and then logo let me look at let me go to the front end i just want to see if the size is too small so i'll click on the logo then let me select here main menu and go down here okay so let me click design it's 12 it's too small let's make it about um, 14 yeah 14 is okay good and save that then we also we have uh that is uh where do you call it this one is logo link is the logo the site name okay so we want to close that site name so that you get rid of that i will then add my own logo here by I will then add my own logo here so I will look through this and search for the logo it's just that this logo is not that nice but uh, that was the logo which was added to the website okay so let me use this one jijedicom okay so let me click select and now it has me added right okay so I cannot increase the height so that the space will be big enough good so let me publish that and open this in a new tab so that you see the changes that we are doing here and it's looking nice okay good let's come back here again okay so what can we do again uh let me click here and now we need to have a mobile menu here mm, where is the mobile menu okay you need to put okay the mobile menu is already here good it's already here and what we can do is to add logo okay so how are we going to do that logo mm, let's see okay so let's wait for how we we'll do that later okay good i can just go here and refresh the page and see the changes that we have we have done on the site okay so now we have our logo let's come back here what can we do okay so we want to put teachers login and student login on top here okay good so what i will do is here i'll click here and add or i will just go back and click this tag uh, that is the uh, html okay so i will put that at 
Uh, at the center, let me put it here. I will then, I will then click on that and we have to enter the details. So I can say that, uh, teachers or oh, yeah, teacher login, then forward slash students login. Okay, so I've added the two of them, but we need, it's just a test. We have to link it to a particular pages so that when someone click on that, it will take the person to that particular page and continue from there. So let's go to all pages. So the first one here is teachers login. Okay, teachers login. Let me show you how to do that. Just click here and right click or you can even click here right click and open it in a private window okay good so this is what we are going to do okay so i'll click on the logo so that it will take us to the site right now we want to add student login right or no it's not student login teachers okay so here we will enter slash wp dash admin then click enter Okay, the link to you get okay. So this is the link. You copy this link and then close this page. Come back here. Go here and now I will then select this one and click this icon and paste that. You can now click here to update it. So I've added the link. Now let's go to pages that we need to copy the link. That is the uh, the page name is let me open this one. Oh, I cannot see the other pages so we need to that is student login so I will copy from here and go back here again select student login I can also click here to make it bold or remove it then click the link icon and paste it and then click here so now i can now update it now let's see if everything is working fine here i will then copy the url come back here open it in a private window and paste it here okay so now let's leave here so i've done that okay good oh i wanted to test something but let me try it again okay so i want to show you how okay so uh let me see okay so let's go to here i think we did not add that okay it's here on the desktop it's here okay good and on mobile to for mobile is not here oh why okay so let me do it. okay 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 it has been added on the mobile okay good oh well, let me put it here yes so that it will be somewhere or uh, i can just click on the mobile here and put it here so that you will also be part of that okay so i will just label that part it doesn't matter let me click here and click here here uh, the icon color will come to that so because we have not done the color settings and so far so good this is what we have done so far uh, uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Like, comment. You can even share so that others can also benefit from this course.